All right, so this time this is kind of part of a more look-alike series, if you will. Um, that doesn't mean they're technically called look-alikes. Uh, these are just some types that sometimes can appear like each other at a glance. Uh, if you're casually just seeing them, you don't know them that well, you know, maybe a colleague or somebody that you just came across, whatever. Um, <clears throat> so today has kind of been about ILIs and SLIs. And this is two types that can appear similar to each other at a glance. Okay, I'm stressing that word, at a glance, somebody you casually know, somebody you were working with, uh, you met briefly, whatever. Um, you can mistake one for the other. You can think that this person is an ILI or you could think they're an SLI or vice versa, whatever. The reason being is that these are two types that are both FE polar. They're not very emotive. They're not very expressive. Um, they're not, they, they can sometimes appear very flat affect-ish. Um, they can sometimes seem to be kind of quietly going about their routine, doing their thing, sticking to their own, sticking to business, sticking to what interests them. Um, both don't really have a whole hell of a lot of energy that they're displaying, right? In terms of the elements and functions, I already mentioned both being FE polar, both have FI in the mobilizing position, both have uh, good usage of thinking functions. So they have TE and TI, both TE in the creative position and TI in the demonstrative position. Um, so there's a lot going on. It's very similar right in the middle of their stack, right? some overlapping in, in valued functions and non-valued functions. Um, so really what it comes down to is, is the base and suggestive areas is where things really change. But the average observer may not see those things right away. And that's why they can be uh, confused for one another. So again, let's say you're, you're, you're uh, working and you have someone who's a colleague who works next to you in the office next to you and whatever. And you know you have some conversations here and there a little bit, uh, but you're not exactly best pals. Um, the SLI may show some interest in some, I, some more abstract looking ideas, some nerdy ideas because they have a book on a sci-fi book with dark matter, particles, whatever things going on next to them, you know, they might be watching some shows like that and you think, oh, okay, maybe this person is N-ish, intuitive-ish, has some interest in that, you know. Um, likewise, the ILI could be there and the ILI, in many cases, they're not very talkative about their interests and their ideas. If they don't feel like talking about it or they don't feel that people around are very receptive to that, uh, they just, they don't get any reason, they don't feel like there's any purpose to bringing it up, then they might not bring up their, their passion projects, these thoughts or ideas that they really care about. They may not really bring it up. So you don't notice that that's actually what they're interested in. Um, therefore, again, you could end up confusing them a little bit. Now, with a little bit of time, the way you tell the difference is, you know, you're, you're, SLI, SI dominant person is SI. They do care a lot about sensory experiences, more pleasurable, comforting experiences. They're more interested in how they're dressing. Is it aesthetically pleasing? Is it comfortable? Um, their food that they're eating, places they want to go later on to enjoy good food, uh, could be the coffee, could be other things. They're much more in tuned with all of those things too, making sure that they're consistent with those, those sensory details, really keeping track of um, uh, staying uh, grounded down to earth, taking care of these little day-to-day -day things that are needed um, and that they want. They can be much better at that and talk about that more and engage in that more. Whereas your ILI, if you can get them talking about things more, you will hear that they will spend a bit more time talking about passion projects, abstract concepts that they're interested in, that they're really uh, knowledgeable on. They've clearly spent a lot of time doing that. Um, 
and uh, understanding the broader picture of what's going on with their job, this broader meaning and implication maybe and how effective the overall organization is. They might be more tuned to that, have better insight on those kind of things. And likewise, they will have shittier sensory ability. They're not as comfortable with their body. They're not as able to maintain uh, understanding of when they should be eating or not eating and what's good for them and not. They're usually not as good, not staying on top of that as much. Uh, um, yeah, those kinds of things. It, it does take a little bit of time to get to understand that. Um, there was something else I was going to bring up, but I forgot. All right. Sometimes it could just be as simple as waiting to really tell the difference between are they really an NT? Is, is their heart really into these more abstract stuff uh, versus the sensory things, the more pragmatic things that an ST would be interested in? Hobbies and stuff. You're more likely to see the SLIST eager to get off of work, get off of whatever, and go to a nice place to eat and enjoy themselves, go to a football game, go fishing, go um, maybe go dancing, you know, something sensory like that, that they enjoy doing. Uh, they could be really looking forward to that, talking about that, you know, this little trip they want to take, whatever. Your NI dominant ILIs in many cases might seem like the opposite in that sense, where they have the opportunity or the invite or whatever to go out and they're like no nah, i'd actually would be more comfortable being on my own at home uh reading this thing over here or um spending time on the internet looking up stuff or whatever that i'm interested in they may show f they likely anyway will show far less interest in those sensory things you know going out to the game going out to dancing going out to uh, you know, hiking on this thing over here or or going to the rest. They may show little to no interest in any of that and be far more content at being right at home, just reading or enjoying themselves in their more ideas and things like that they like doing. Um, so you're looking for those little details. You're, oh, your SLI is likely because they're, they're uh, Delta. And because they have the F-I-N-E combination, they're also much more friendly with people, a little bit more accepting, more tolerant of different kinds of people, uh, much more casual and relaxed people with different ideas and different things. They might even enjoy people with different ideas and different things, uh, have a little fun with that. Uh, but much more tolerant, much more okay with that. Whereas your I-L-I is likely to be typical gamma, be a little bit harsher with people, more critical with people harsh comments on people they think are stupid or people that are doing things dumb. Um, showing more of a total lack of interest in some people that are just into things that that ILI is not interested in. You know, whatever those people do that stuff, let them do that. I just don't care. I don't, don't care. Don't feel like talking to them about it. Don't want to engage at all. You know, so this can make the ILI seem less polite, less warm, less social, uh, less friendly overall, whereas the SLI may seem, at least on a superficial level, may seem more polite, more social, more able to do the small talk a little bit, um, be a little bit nicer and more accommodating of, of people and different kinds of people and stuff like that. And thus give a little bit, a little bit friendlier uh, uh, a vibe. So those are other ways to tell the difference, right? So again, two types that, that superficially can seem very similar, um, uh, can suffer from some of the same problems, but they are two very different types. You know, one just being overall more abstract, maybe a little bit harsher, the other not as abstract, more sensory, more in the day-to-day -day stuff needs to get done but maybe also a little bit more pleasant, okay? So that's a quick wrap up on those two. Uh, again, let me know what you think on that. Um, 
has if it's is it something that has been a challenge for you have people mistyped you this way or that way um yeah those kind of things yeah uh, I, this ties into why ILIs sometimes seem rare sometimes they're just mistyped they're that person sitting right next to you in the office and you just thought they were something else okay so anyway that kind of kicks off this series on um common mistypings i guess